All right, so if you're looking for a new vegan restaurant to check out, we, we have you covered. It's a new place uh, serving vegan versions of Israeli dishes, and Cassidy Quinn is in southeast Portland tonight taking a gander. Uh, you're like, probably the first person in there. Uh, well, other than the people I that are working I know. So, Brian, exactly. The people working here have been working very hard, and apparently they've been very busy the past few days. They opened up on the 3rd. Their official grand opening isn't for a few more days, but we are back here in the kitchen. You saw the whole dining room. It looks very beautiful, lovely decor out there during the teas. But now we got to get to where the serious stuff happens, the food, the plant-based Israeli food, and it is all beginning here. There are three owners of Aviv, and we have one of them with us right now, also chef, of course, Tal Caspi. So what is this you are beginning here? Uh, I'm starting to make some trauma fries. Oh my goodness. I, I kind of told him this is what he had to make because everything on the menu sounds and looks delicious, but I kept reading about this on the internet. Why do people love these shawarma fries so much? I think because they're really delicious. Yeah. And, and anything with fries, really? Everybody loves potatoes. So what is this part? These are soy curls. Cool. They're curried soy curls. Ooh, of course, going with the plant-based thing. Now, this kind of started as a food cart for you, and there's a couple other owners involved, right? It did, yeah. I had a food cart called Gonzo for many years, and uh, there's three of us. Sanjay, who owns Rabbit's Cafe and Two Sudras, and Sue, who does the front of the house and marketing. And together, we are Aviv. Excellent. Now, when people think Israeli food and they think plant-based food, when they look at the menu, what kind of things can they expect? Um, falafel and shawarma, definitely, baba ganoush, hummus. Um, we had a packaged hummus company called Gonzo. We were in uh, all of New Seasons, and we're going to relaunch now in about a month. Oh, awesome. That sounds exciting. Yeah, I'm super excited. We have this giant kitchen to do so many different things with, so we definitely want to bring the hummus back ASAP. I did say that right when we walked in. I said, this is a huge kitchen. I think, it is, is it massive. bigger than the dining room? It's like three or four <laughs> times the size of the dining room. Yeah, it's a huge commissary kitchen. It's all ours. Uh, they also prep here for the Sudra and for the Rabbit's Cafe. And uh, we're gonna do some new grab-and-go items as well outside of the hummus once we get going here. We're just trying to get through this first opening week nice. and then figure out how to do the packaged hummus and the grab-and-go items. And is Friday official grand opening? I think we're actually gonna push the grand opening back. We're so busy so quick that we... Even busier after we finish this segment. I'm sure, yeah. We actually closed yesterday because we were so busy we needed to regroup and just get prep done. So we're gonna push the, the, the big grand opening back a little bit um, until we get everything 100% right and just totally ready for it. Now a lot of people when they think you know, Israeli style food, they might think feta cheese. You guys have your own version of that, right? We have a tofu feta that we make and it's pretty darn delicious. And we have a labne that we make uh, with cashews. So we're using a lot of nuts and a little bit of tofu and just a lot of vegetables. I mean, Israeli food is already plant-based mostly, so we don't really have to alter all that much. So we just kind of keep it basic and traditional. What all goes on top of the shawarma fries? Tahini, two different hot sauces that we make, tzchug and harissa. What uh, were those last two things? Tzchug and harissa, they're very hard to say, you have to kind of chuch <laughs> to talk about it. Tzchug and harissa, uh, and a lot of tahini, pepper and sinis. Yeah, it's oh pretty, pretty delish. Um, here wow. We go. Let's make it. Well, Tal is going to continue making, oh my goodness, you got the fries. Oh, you had so me at the good. soy curls, and then the fries look even more amazing. Brian, I know we have your attention. He's going to yeah, put all do. those things <coughs> that he just food. said onto the shawarma fries. I really don't want to send it back to you in the studio because I want to continue to see how this all made. Why don't but you bring it back these, to the studio? Yes, they are. You know, now you're talking, Brian. I knew you were going to say that. I was waiting for it. So, all you need ooh, is, is a that spoon. one of the hot sauces, Tal? Yeah, um, a spoon and some hot sauce. Mango. This is one of the mm. hot sauces right here, Harissa. Yes, Pickled please. mango? Yes, pickled mango from India that we blend into a sauce. And there is the tzhug, cilantro, parsley, hot peppers. Oh, now we That's know what That's an Instagram pic right there. Did I say it right? What that is? <laughs> <laughs> this is a beautiful Instagram picture. Oh, my goodness. And you guys do have an Instagram of your own, right? Oh, yeah, we have a pretty amazing Instagram that actually Sue takes care of, and it's pretty fantastic. So if you want to see the rest of their food. Oh, that looks good. What goes on there? Oh, the pepperoncinis. I think I'm blocking some of the ingredients, <laughs> Brian, so we will let Tal Cassidy, finish this up again. Cassidy, it's fine. Aviv. Box it up. <laughs> bring it back to the studio. I'll be Southeast your best friend forever. 11th and Division. <laughs> I. Oh, my goodness. Yes, wow. I'm, I'm I think that's just here. for me, Brian. I can eat it all myself. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, Cassie. Appreciate it. Still ahead.